How about you and I have a little talk before we begin this video? I've been doing this for over six years, teaching correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar to all types of folks all over the face of the earth. I've put out around a thousand videos on this channel. Have you ever known me to ever make a claim, much less a grammatical claim and not be able to back it up? Have you ever known me to say something without having evidence to prove it? Unless I qualify what I say by saying this is a guess or flat out this is my perception. This is my opinion. Have you ever known me to do a grammar audit that was not backed up by a continuance of the evidence? In six plus years, can you point out any place in a video on my channel in the public where I have done that? I will bet you that you can't because I make damn sure what I say about this grammar can be backed up by a continuance of the evidence. Which brings me to our old friend, Pi314, i.e. Kenneth Wayne Cowtan, who I've banned a couple times before because for some reason, he'll, he'll make sense and seem to come around and be basically what we would call in compliance with the terms and conditions of this channel and also behaving with a modicum of humility. And then they like just go off the rails and start judging and, and saying what I would term to be goofy things. And I'm gonna show you an example right here of him going off the rails again by my perception. So I published a video where I audited a sentence that was written by Colin David Ife and Wayne Colin Miller. And it was a sentence lifted from David Wynn Miller's website and used in an article written at a college university, on a college university blog by some professor. And it was, of course, criticizing quantum grammar, blah, blah, blah. We won't get into that aspect of it. As you can see by the comment on your screen, Kenneth says, how does one know David Wynn Miller authored this sentence? I do not think it was. Hmm. Okay. When Kenneth writes a sentence like that, that tells me a few things about him. Number one, I'd have to guess. And again, this is a guess. Remember, I'm qualifying what I'm about to say. I'm not saying they're facts. I'm saying they're guesses. I'm guessing that Kenneth places David Whitmiller upon a pedestal and worships him as a hero. That David can do no wrong. That David had closure on the grammar. Okay. Even after the multiple videos that I have put on this channel, auditing David's grammar, showing the mistakes, and again, showing how to fix them. Of course, I can speculate as to why those mistakes are there. 
I have my own guesses based upon evidence, not based upon assumption of character or, well, I don't think it was him that wrote it. No, none of that. None of that. Knowing that Kenneth is a longtime viewer of this channel, I'm guessing, as a teacher, because Kenneth does state that I am, he considers me to be his correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar tutor. He has said that. So as a tutor, I have to make certain guesses as to what's going on in my student's head so that I can better teach them. So this is a knowledge cultivation scenario. And it always is. It has nothing to do with my ego, as far as I know, and everything to do with the student's psychology, i.e., the ego that they're using. Because they're saying, how does one know David Wynn Miller authored this sentence? The sentence that I used in the video, the sentence from his website, and the sentence that I say in the video that David Wynn Miller authored. So Pi314, i.e. Kenneth, is just pretty much outright calling me, implying, giving outright the implication that I'm lying, that I'm somehow mistaken, that I, a content creator of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar of six plus years, decided to put out a video doing an audit, claiming something that I couldn't prove, that I couldn't back up? Wow. I must not have learned anything in six plus years of being on YouTube and not getting strikes against me and not getting in trouble for anything. I'm still out here doing this. Why? Because I'm grammatically correct in what I say and I can back up what I say. But obviously, Pi314 doesn't think so, doesn't agree with that. Somehow, Jason must not know what he's talking about. Well, let's get into this. So I didn't even pussyfoot around, folks. <clears throat> I went right into it. I was not gentle at all. I said, you are entitled to your opinion. Also, please share a page, any page, from David Wynn Miller's book that contains less than five blatant errors. If you can do that, then you can outright call me a liar rather than insinuate it low key. And what I'm saying is, I'm building up a continuance of the evidence as to prove what I'm claiming about David Wynn Miller's grammar. Okay? Because I know, I'm, I'm giving him a task, a challenge, that I know he can't possibly do. Number one, because he doesn't have closure in the grammar and he doesn't really know what he's looking at when he's looking at a correct sentence structure, obviously, from his comments, and things that I've read about in the past, he doesn't even know how to syntax. Folks, one time I had a consultation with this Kenneth Wayne Cowtam, and I asked them, what do you think your correct sentence structure knowledge is? And they were like, oh, I'm, you know, they said they thought they were pretty advanced. I said, okay, syntax this sentence for me. And I gave them a very simple, like five or six word sentence. They couldn't even syntax one word of it. They couldn't do it. You know what they said? They said, normally I can syntax very easily. It's so easy to me, but for right now, some reason I can't. I, I, I don't, I don't, I can't do it right now. Oh, so that means you can't syntax. Because if you can't syntax right now, meaning the now space, that's all we have, then you, you can't syntax. It's that simple. And that's not arrogance. That's me being upfront. I'm not being mean. That's me being blunt. If you cannot take the heat, then it's probably time that you exit the kitchen, Kenneth, and go find a kinder, a kinder, gentler, la la correct sentence structure land. Because if you ever have to use this stuff for real, for real, like in the real world, as we would say, you would get eaten alive as if by sharks if this is how 
fragile your psyche is when it comes to this stuff. And I'm going to show you more about this fragile psyche. Again, I'm a tutor. Kenneth has credentialed me as his tutor. He has done this. So I have, cons I have Kenneth's consent to speak this way on my channel. Besides, it's my channel. I'll speak any which way I want to. So then I said, I was going to wait and see what you said, but I'm not stocked on patience today. Click on this and look at 11 from his website. To answer your question, how does one know David Wynn Miller authored this sentence? By looking it up. I roll. So let's click on this link and follow the continuance of the evidence that I have provided for Kenneth. Keep in mind, everything I'm saying, I'm backing up with evidence. So here we have David's website. This is the publicly available website that is on the internet. It is no longer dwmlc.com, but this is dwmlc.net. But it is, in, for the most part, for what I'm about to show you, a facsimile exactly of David's original second page of his website, which is communication methods. And I have a PDF of David's original website saved in a couple different places. So here we go, communication methods. Look, as I'm saying, what I said about the challenge about show me any page off of David Wynn Miller's book or website or whatever that has less than five errors, here's an error right away. No colon in front of the is, as far as in the context of this sentence. No period at the end of methods. No positional lodial phrase in front of the tilde one. Incorrect verb, because it should be singular. Anyways, let's go down to the pertinent section. What does this sentence say right here? Number 11, as I directed Kenneth to look up using the link, look at number 11. Here's number 11. For the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar of the facts are with the claim of the one in 900 terms of each word's correct meaning with the parsing, syntax, grammar, sentence structure. As a matter of fact, let me go back to the original copy of this that I have in my PDF file so we can just get it all out in the open. So you can see this web page is from 7-14-2018, which is when I, when I downloaded this. And here is number 11. For the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, the facts are with the claim of the one in 900 terms of each word's correct meaning with the parsing, syntax, grammar, sentence structure. There's the sentence written by this man. Now, if you remember what I said in this video that I'm referring to, where I audited this sentence right here, I said that in this part of the sentence where it says one in 900 terms of each word's correct meaning, if you remember each, there was a hyphen between each and words right here. And I said, I'm guessing that's a typo because each I'm guessing would be used as a lodial in this context, not as part of the hyphenated fact. So my guess was it was a typo. And I'm correct. It was a typo on the part of the folks who copy and paste it or copy this sentence into their website. Other than that, the sentence is exactly the same. Incorrect positional concatenation sequencing, incorrect verb, particles of negation in the facts. And those mistakes are all over this page and all over this website. Now, here's one more piece of evidence for Kenneth Wayne Cowtan. 
I was in contact personally with Colin David Eiffel and Colin Miller during the last year of his life through phone conversations. I was spell checking his website before he passed away. I was in communication with him, sending him spelling and spacing and capitalization corrections. I had not quite learned the grammar yet in 2017, but I was I knew enough to correct certain things and I would send them to him because he asked me to send him the errors, which I did. I got I got through this page right here. And I sent it to him. He never said he didn't author this page. He took ownership and authority over this website, that it's his website. He wrote it. So, Kenneth, what more proof do you need, my man? To me, I'm basically saying to this guy, number one, I'm implying, do you think that I would put anything on my YouTube channel that I couldn't back up? Unlike you, Kenneth, I can prove what I say. Number two, why don't you just look it up? It's pretty easy. If you have his book or his website to look something like this up and verify it for yourself. Pretty easy. Ah, but I know that the burden of proof is on the claimant. The continuance of the evidence is on me. So here it is. I, I gave it to him. I gave him the evidence right here to look up for himself. Do you want to know what he said? Do you want to know what his kuleana back to me, his feedback was, the energy that he returned to me? All right. Do you have your guesses in place? Let's see what he said. He said, I do not need your permission to offer an opinion, explanation point. Actually, you are a guest here, and you do. That's why I have banned you again. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty insolent by my perception and assumptive, which is why this guy probably won't ever get closure on the grammar until he can harness and, and get in check his assumption presumption. And I'm saying that as a tutor. You infer much to the negative. Much to the negative. Actually, it's not positive or negative to me. It just is what it is. It's what I'm seeing. Perhaps there is a personal reason you have for this. There is no personal reason. What am I fond of saying, folks, in just about every single reaction video that I do and comments video? Don't take anything personally, because I don't. And it's true. I cultivate humility. I don't know Kenneth Wayne Caltan enough to take anything personal. I don't have a friendship with this individual. If this would be a friend, a friend, someone I consider a close confidant, a friend like Raven or Ricardo or folks like that or my wife, then I might take something personal. But I don't know who this guy is. I know the image that he likes to portray, which is very... Uh, by my perception, bipolarish, kind of like Russell J. Gould. Again, I ask, how do you know DWM authored this sentence? Folks, I just gave the guy proof. I just gave him evidence, linked to a website, David Wynn Miller's website, a facsimile of his website, and I also just now gave even more evidence showing that it was indeed from David's original website, and then I added on top of that that I was correcting his website when he was still alive and I was still speaking with him during the last year of his life. So the next thing he says is, you asked me to share from a book and then point to a potential website of a deceased person. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let me know when you can behave in a respectful manner. Oh, now he's bringing the, what do, you, what do you want to call that? The dad energy here? Ooh, he's, he's high and mighty. Well, he's a student. And I treat someone like that as such. I don't care what they 
say like this doesn't affect me in one way or the other it doesn't matter to me there is no such thing as respect re means no what are you, what are you talking about there's a balance of honor and grace here and i would not be standing in honor if i were not telling this individual what i'm perceiving as a, as a teacher that's going on with their psyche a potential website so that website potentially may not exist. Well, I just showed it to you, so it obviously does exist. Um, let's see what else they say. Man, your behavior is not advancing the cause to get my loved ones the technology use, usage. Do you know exactly how much it matters to me if you get your loved ones into this technology usage probably this much because if they're anything like you they're not ready for it quite honestly but again you know i don't know them i can't say one thing one way or another about who they are or but i have to say that they probably share your bias and your behavioral attributes because that's usually what happens in families and then they say is it typical for knowledgeable folks of quantum grammar to be so arrogant? <laughs> My last tutor was, I have a picture with him and Gould that our mutual friend shared who also stated he went weird. I could not get a respectful answer from him when I was deeply interested in many attributes of this grammar. Kind of, if you were truly interested in this grammar, you would not behave this way and you'd be taking workshops, which you don't and you're not. And so this is the third time third time i have banned you from this channel and so that's it three strikes bro you're out you have proven to me that it is not really of value to me to be your tutor any longer so das vidanya kenneth wayne kautan next one comes from Love, peace, freedom, and they say pharmacy or the art of preparing drugs from late Latin pharmaceuticus of drugs from Greek pharmaceuticals from pharmacus prepare of drugs poisoner question uh, mark. Yes, I did a video on this over six years ago, which I shared with uh, love, peace, freedom in the comments. If they just click on that, um, they can answer their own i guess what they would call a question it doesn't it reads like a statement but they put a question mark at the end so that's that's always interesting when folks do that it makes me wonder if they have a grasp of plain simple english next comment comes from niles rivers and they say bracket colon you've made hyphen good hyphen business colon selling hyphen knowledge and uh, I have to guess that this is another one of those uh, Russell J. Gould cult followers. Just based upon what they're saying here, they put quantum gobbly go They put a plain, simple English fiction Bible sentence in hyphenated and put a colon in front of it. And they think it's correct sentence structure, yet they put it in brackets. Which tells me they're completely ignorant of correct sentence structure and they're also completely ignorant of my channel because they would know that a hundred percent of the correct sentence structure of my total correct sentence structure knowledge is a hundred percent available on my youtube channel for free you, you don't have to pay to watch the nine or nine hundred or thousand videos you're more than welcome to study them anytime you want to and you don't have to buy a membership or a subscription or whatever you can just watch it so uh i don't know this individual so that that's a pretty let's put it this way they are showing their the level of magnitude of their ignorance which doesn't surprise me coming from the russell j gould sector next comment comes from Quadruple A, and they say, I don't agree with the statement some people make that knowledge should be free. If one has spent a multitude of time and effort to gather and gain certain knowledge, someone else comes along and states 
that you should give to them freely the knowledge which have cost maybe years upon years to find or learn. There's nothing wrong with the little monetary gratitude. I agree with that sentiment. I really do. I think it's funny when folks think that, uh, well, teachers shouldn't charge anything. They shouldn't make any money off of teaching knowledge. It should be free. Well, let's apply that to other professions. All right. So if a teacher teaches and they're feeding their family through the fees of teaching and you think that they, it should be free, well, then what are they supposed to do? Are they supposed to get a like a 40 hour a week job and then <clears throat> in addition to that, also teach eight hours a day? You know, students, I mean, how how's that work? You have to show me the business model behind that. Next one comes from Dermo and they say, don't worry, dude. I've been trying to wake people up for 16 years. People are not asleep. They're in a feckin' coma. Anywhere's fair play to you, pal, for correcting those other money-hungry shysters. Ye know who I mean. Keep it up, and when I get a few bob in, I'll be giving you a call myself to help me finalize the last step I need to take out this take out of this satanic system. Well, I mean, I appreciate the sentiment first of all, behind that comment. But there is a lot of assumption, presumption going on in here. And this individual has a long, long, long way to go, especially if they're doing this by themselves, trying to learn the grammar by themselves. So the first assumption is they're assuming that I want to wake people up. This is not true. I don't want to wake anybody up. Who likes to be woken up? It's not very pleasant. People have to come to that by themselves. Um, keep it up and when I get a few bob in I'll be giving you a call myself to help finalize the last step I need to take out the satanic system well that's an assumption that is a satanic system I mean that goes into a whole nother area of assumption presumption that has no place in the quantum grammar domain final comment comes from tin rib music and they say you're a good man. Thank you for these gifts and shares of your prudence in directionals. Good food for thought. Choices of heading. Wishing you and family all the best. Author Wellness Wisher, Jonathan Simon Bell. That's interesting that they put that there, which, I mean, they're more than welcome to put any symbol they want to uh, on their correct name as long as it is on their copyright copy claim, live life claim. If it is not on the live life claim, then they have modified their name. So be very careful about that. Make sure that the name that you're using is on your live life claim. I mean, you're, when you're, you, you know, incorrect sentence structure contract. And yes, I do know that this is in brackets, so it's not really there. Anyways.